our mission is to help you learn the English language. We have created easy to follow free educational materials for those seeking knowledge of English. Hello everyone and welcome to our CPR for beginners course. First of all, does anyone know what CPR stands for? Cardiopulmonary resuscitation. That's right. We apply CPR in the case of cardiac arrest or pulmonary arrest. What does that mean? Well, basically if your heart stops pumping blood or your lungs stop pumping air, then we need to get them going again. That's when we have to apply this procedure. Let's begin. I need a volunteer. Me. Me. All right. Come here and lay flat on your back. Let's suppose this young woman has stopped breathing. We must lift the person's chin so that we clear a pathway for air to get into the lungs. Then we place our mouth over the other person's mouth and blow air two or three times like this. Wait. What are you doing? I'm a married woman. You can't just try to kiss me like this. Madam, I'm not trying to kiss you. I am trying to demonstrate how to apply CPR in the case of an emergency. Well, okay, but no French kissing. As I was saying, we blow air through the mouth in this manner. Once this is done, we must try to get the heart going again. To do this, we place our hands over the person's chest and press down firmly two or three times. Wait, what are you doing? You can't just kiss me then go for second base. Shall we go to the library by subway? Yes, it's far quicker and less complicated. Okay, there is no subway in my city. Really? Yes, does it operate night and day? Yes, and 7 days a week. Where do we pay the fare? Follow me, please. Do I have to pay an additional fare to change trains? No, you don't have to. Okay, I see. Excuse me, would you get me some paper napkins? Sure. Here you are. Could you recommend some dessert? We have fruit cake, cream cake and chestnut cake. Don't you have cheese? Of course, we do. I'd like to buy a bottle of Centrum, a toothbrushes. Centrum? We have bottles of 30 and 100 tablets. Which kind do you want? Give me one bottle of 30 tablets. And what kind of toothbrushes would you like? Can I have a look at them? Sure. This brand is supposed to be very good, but they're expensive. Those are new products. They come in several colors and sizes. There is also hard, soft, and medium. Are they cheaper? This one is 5% off. That one has no reduction, but you can get a free tube of toothpaste with 6 toothbrushes. You're home late today, David. How was school? Not bad. There's a new English teacher. Oh, what's she like? She is beautiful. Is she old or young? She is quite young and her hair is blonde. Is she strict? Not really. Her eyes are blue. Can she speak Chinese? Not much. She is very tall and slim. David, stop dreaming. It's time to do your homework. I hear you jog every day. I'm doing it for fun and fitness. 
I think maybe one day you can take part in the walking race. At the age of 64? You're kidding. Good morning, miss. Good morning. I'd like a haircut. How would you like it? Just a trim will do. Shut up, Billy Billy. What? Wow. What's that? It's my new radio earphone. It's so small that I didn't notice it. What were you screaming at me for? Bob, did you see our supervisor? I need him to sign this paper. He is in his office, but you'd better choose your words carefully while talking to him. What's up? Nothing, but he is in a bad mood today. Thanks for the warning. That's all right. Good morning. Morning. What would you like for breakfast? I'm not quite hungry now. Let me think for a while. Come on. We are going to be late. Okay. Okay. Toast and egg. Milk? No. Following our free educational materials, you learn English in a great way, with ease and efficiency.